of love, a law of order has been signed and your future seems will be better than what other perpetrators were trying to promote. There is no one who is going to kill homosexuals. No one is going to kill the homosexuals. The law doesn't say so, but the law says the habit itself is unnatural, and the habit itself, if it is promoted by anyone, that person is liable for a punishment. He has saved the young generation from the sin that caused the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Signing the bill, oil, oil. but him and repenting, oil. oil, teaching women repenting, oil, oil. The Africa independent, oil. oil. The biggest problem here is confusion. Homosexuals are boys who think they are girls, and girls who think they are boys. So the issue is they want to confuse us, but Africa said no confusion. Hey, 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 no confusion. It had swallowed in the young people uh, we, who are busy looking for job and they are lured into some of these activities, which we strongly co condemn because it compromises our values as Africans. It is the moment of truth. It's a defining moment in our history and it will go down as one of the greatest. So yes, the signing of the bill is a good step forward by Uganda government and especially we thank the president for signing uh, the bill into law now and then also to indicate and show the West and the world over that. We really don't necessarily copy everything they want us to copy. Now the social media was a beehive of activity with Uganda tre trending the most as the news broke out about Uganda's anti-gay stance. Now those for and against took to their Twitter and Facebook accounts expressing gratitude or disappointment at the president for signing the popular anti-gay bill into law. Desmond Tutu in a statement released today said he was disheartened by the move. He says, we must be entirely clear about this. The history of people is littered with attempts to legislate against love or marriage across class, caste and race. But there is no scientific basis or genetic rationale for love. There is only the grace of God. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Nevi Pillay, said in a statement, disapproval of homosexuality by some can never can never justify violating the fundamental human rights of others. It is formulated so broadly that it may lead to abuse of power and accusations against anyone, not just LGBT people.